Hey everybody, welcome to our house church video for this week uh, for our clip show episode. Uh, we're really glad that you joined us for that. Now, heading into house church, we've got a couple of things we want you to consider as you reflect on the sermon from this last week. Uh, so starting with our question mark. So a question that I had as I was preparing for this week was like, what did stick out to me over the course of the last five weeks of walking through this Revelation series? And you kind of got to see the result of that on Sunday, that you got to see all the different clips that really struck me and that, that stuck with me. So my question for you in your house church is, what were those moments from the past five weeks that really struck you? And maybe there's some of the ones that I pointed out on Sunday, but maybe there's something else that has stuck with you over the course of the last couple of weeks and would love for you to just chat about that. Now, my light bulb for this week as I was preparing really was that it, it, it really does all come back to Jesus. It's all about him. It's all for him. And so all of the uh, things that we cover over the course of the last five weeks and as we continue on in this series, man, if, if I'm losing sight of Jesus, I'm missing it. And so I'd encourage you to carry that with you as we jump into this next session of Revelation. Where is Jesus? Where are you seeing him in this? And maybe think through that a little bit. So then for our arrow this week, that, that point of conviction, that thing that I'm going to now actually do as a result of this sermon, for me personally, my arrow really was that like, man, where, where am I apathetic in my relationship with Jesus? Uh, and maybe for some of you that, that compromise idea is a little stronger than just apathy, but for me, apathy was a really strong conviction point of like, it is really easy for me to get apathetic in pursuing Jesus and putting him front and center in my life. And so that arrow for you, maybe it is about apathy, but maybe it's about compromise, but either way, where do you need to turn and spend more time chasing after Jesus in your life? Where do you need to repent and unload some of that stuff on Jesus and just put him front and center in your life. Thanks for joining us. Have a great house church tonight.